what's very clear, and I want to put this in context, is that Karnataka is not Gujarat. Gujarat is a Hindutva BJP laboratory. Many of the BJP leaders, MLAs, local leaders, are actually imported, sometimes from the JDS, sometimes from the Congress. They're not, many of them are not hardcore uh, BJP walas in the manner in which say someone like a Yadurappa is. The second point is after the tickets have been allocated in about two dozen odd seats the BJP is facing dissension. Now remember they felt they sensed some dissension in Gujarat as well when some big leaders had their tickets cut off but there there was a sense of respect, fear, whatever you want to call it towards the big two in the BJP and they all backtracked here. For example we saw today one former deputy chief minister just hop across and get his ticket on a Congress party seat. So that wouldn't typically happen in a state like Gujarat. Third, the sense that Sandeep Shastri is saying that even the BJP supporter realizes that this hasn't been an outstanding government. They're not as proud of it in the manner in which voters were in Uttar Pradesh, where they really had a lot of pride around Yogi Adityanath. They're like, you know, okay, next year we'll again come back to the BJP, but this time they themselves aren't so delighted with what you've done, GBL. Yeah, Rahul, I, I, even I have gone around uh, parts of uh, Karnataka and my teams have gone many places. What uh, Sandeep Shastriji mentioned is something that even I have heard of. But there is a catch there. A lot of people who, you see, 36% is our vote share. That is some kind of a ceiling for us. It has been a ceiling for us in the state elections. But come parliament elections, a lot more people vote for the BJP in the name of Prime Minister Modi ji. We've seen how Karna, how Rajasthan, we, we were routed in the assembly elections and we won then all the 25 parliament seats. Same story happened in Madhya Pradesh. We barely lost assembly election, but we swept Lok Sabha. No, we're not talking about 2024. Now, no, what we're saying is in the context of the Lok Sabha elections, Abhi ki baat karo, no, no. Abhi kya hoga 10th of May ko? Yes. You see, when you talk to some people who are not inclined, who are not uh, voters of the BJP, continuous voters of the BJP, confirmed supporters of the BJP, they would tell you this story. These, uh, they, they, I, I don't think they fall within the 36% kitty that we, we continue to get in every election, typically, except the 2008 election, keep that aside. But the remaining neutral voters who vote for Prime Minister in the name of Prime Minister, for the BJP in Lok Sabha elections, all of them may not be enthused about the state Okay, let, let Sandeep Shastri come in on it. You're making a very important point. I'm glad you're speaking like a cephologist and not as a neta. He's saying from 36 to 51, that extra 15% is the Modi vote. You've been speaking to that 15%. He thinks the 36% is still safe. Well, I, I, I also respect the point which GVLG is making and see the logic of his argument. Uh, the fact that the BJP has this, as he would put it, a solid 34% vote. Uh, my larger point is that even among those who have been traditional BJP voters, there is some sense of disconnect which is there with the government at the state level given the nature of performance we have had in the last uh, three and a half years and given the fact that especially in the last four to six months the agenda setting has been done much more by the Congress and the BJP has been on the back foot whereas in the first two and a half years of its rule it was actually the other way around and for the BJP there have been a series of issues which have forced them to go on the back foot including now the latest stand the Supreme Court has taken on the 4% Muslim reservation. But Rahul, let me make one more point which I wanted to make uh, uh, in my earlier submission. Yes. Which is with regard to the Janta Dal. Now, the Janta Dal has always done much better in the assembly elections than in the Lok Sabha elections. This time around, their focus is much more on the old Mysore region. But there again, within the first family of the Janta Dal, there has been a crisis. The two brothers are fighting with each other for a seat for the wives of one of the two brothers. They have resolved it now and wanting to move her to Mysore district. But I'm sure the implications of this are going to be there in terms of the way the party is going to uh, go before the people. Its workers are going to be enthused to be able to 
uh, get yeah. the party support, I think there is going to be a challenge. I, I want to make a the point. real battle is in the old Mysore region, and whether whether the BJP can really catch on to k k retain its vote in Mumbai, Karnataka, given the fact that a lot of the rebellion is in that region, I think is an important point to know.